With Bantu knots, you can have cute curls without using any rollers. First step is to choose a moisturizing cream product. For this look, it's important that your hair, especially the ends, are properly moisturized. Start with blow dry hair, parted from ear to ear. As you can see, I already added two braids going forward on the side, just to jazz up the look. I will be using these hair tools for this look. I already applied about a quarter sized amount of moisturizer to my hair. The key to Bantu knots is making sure that the hair is completely smooth before twisting the hair. I'm using the rat tail comb and the brush to do that. Now twist your hair using the rolling method. Do not twist too closely to your scalp because as you twist your hair, the Bantu knot will tighten at the roots. The ends are so important. Make sure that they're smooth by combing through them and adding a bit more product. After you're finished rolling the hair into the bantu knot, secure the ends by making sure they're covered by the bantu knot. You can use a rubber band or bobby pin to make sure that the knot does not undo itself. To undo the bantu knot, twist it in the opposite direction of the knot. Untwist it as if you were twisting off a bottle cap. To separate the hair, gently pull apart the curls and twist it around your finger. Doing this will prevent frizz. Now it's time to fluff. I'm using my pick to tease the roots. You have to make sure that you aren't combing through the hair and that you're just teasing at the roots. I'm putting the front of my hair in a ponytail and teasing at the curls to make it look fuller. I'm just going to wrap the ends of the hair around to make a mini bun. If you love this look, let me know by commenting below and liking this video. Thanks for watching.